Hello, Pirates. Today is October 12, 2018. I'm James Dove. And I'm Josh Vinson. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Pirate, Pirate TV. TV. Today's a great day. Is there anything you're looking forward to? Not today, but I am looking forward to the State Fair. I completely forgot about that. Don't we have some clubs to participate yep. in? Yep. And lucky for you, White and Ty have some information to share. This year, our Agriculture and Art Department will be presenting what they have been working on since the beginning of the school year at the North Carolina State Fair in Raleigh. Our school's FFA will be presenting everything they have worked on from the animals to the plants. Our show team will be showing their skills in handling, walking, and the overall presentation of our school sheep. These students have practiced every day after school on their skills with handling the sheep. Students will be showing Thursday the 11th, Friday the 12th, and Saturday the 13th. The students in the Agriculture Department have been working under the supervision of Mr. Barnhill on a garden to present the fair as well. Along with Agriculture, a few students from the Art Department have worked on projects of their own. Each student has worked very hard on these pieces and are ready to have them presented at the fair. Thank you to all students listed for representing our school at the 2018 North Carolina State Fair. If you plan on going to the fair, make sure you stop by and check out what these students have accomplished. Everyone has been working so hard. Good luck to everyone at the State Fair. Yeah, those projects looked really good. Now I have something to be excited about besides the food. You know what else I'm excited about? What is it? Homecoming is coming up. Can't forget about that. Good morning, Pirates. My name is Xander, and this is your Corinth Holders High School Boys Homecoming Pageant. First up is the fashion competition where the boys will sport their favorite fashions down the runway. Next up, we'll discover the guy's special talents. This should be interesting. Um, my talent is I speak another language called Kiswahili, so I'll say it to y'all. Saseni unafanya aj and asanti funi chukua for homecoming court. And I'll say it in an African accent. Thank you guys for always speaking to me for homecoming court. Thank you. My talent is telling really bad jokes. Why did the pirates get kicked out of the movie theater? Because it was rated R. My talent is hula hooping, or attempting to. My talent is football, so I brought a football. Miles' talent is dancing. <laughs> the last round is a sweet show and tell moment where the contestants bring in items that mean the world to them. Let's see what they brought. Uh, this is my sentimental item. It's my cross necklace. I've had it ever since I was little. Yeah, it just reminds me that God's got my back and that he's always with me. Well, this is my item. I got it when I was in Kenya. I can't wear it. I can't go anywhere without this because I represent my culture and I love it. This is um, my dad's Duke jersey when he played there. And uh, it means a lot to me because, you know, I'm following in his footsteps and becoming a Blue Devil too. So, yeah. The most important thing in my life is God, and the second most important thing is family. And my Aunt Kelly gave this to me when we were at the beach one year. And so this, this is just a reminder that, uh, of my family and just how important they are to me. And also, I win a lot of cornhole games in this hat, so it's kind of like, like my strength for cornhole. This is Miles, and what he brings every day is his smile. Uh, it's infectious, and everyone loves him. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, your 2018 Boys Homecoming Court. My name is Nicholas Consiglio, and I wear contacts. My name is Humphrey, and I'm Kenya. My name is Cole, and my favorite movie is Rocky. My name is Jacob, and pizza rolls is that gas. 
and that's Miles, and he loves everyone. Best of luck to these guys as everyone casts their vote for 2018 Homecoming Court. Wow, I can't wait to see them at Homecoming. Hold on just a second. Let's not forget about the girls. Of course. Let's go see what we got. I'm Caitlin Bagwell. Hi, I'm Megan Blackley. Hi, I'm Emma. Hi, I'm Eliza Ritchie. Hi, I'm Michaela Thompson. I'm, I'm doing really good. I'm really loving my life right now. Shooting my shot for Homecoming Queen. I can do a split. Oh, yes, I do love game shows. Is it going? I eat pasta at least once every day. My hobby is sleeping and playing basketball. I like burgers a lot. There are bugs on me. My favorite thing in the world is game shows. Like, I literally, I have early release and I go home every day and watch game shows from 11.30 to 4. And it's my favorite thing ever. Okay. Waffles are better than pancakes, and that's final. Oh, now I got dookie on my legs. I love everything from the 90s. Ooh, Megan. Okay, my favorite band is Cage the Elephant, and my favorite TV show is Dexter. <laughs> that was so much better. Yes. Super. Now I really can't wait to see Homecoming. You and me both, but we're not done with Homecoming yet. What do you mean? Next week we'll be having a special spirit week before the game. Let's go see what's going on. Monday, Mathletes versus Athletes. Wear your athletic clothes or your dorky clothes. Tuesday, Past versus Future. Wear clothes from your favorite decade. Wednesday, Class versus Class. Seniors wear black, juniors wear red, sophomores wear blue, and freshmen wear yellow. Wear these colors in support of your class powder puff team. Thursday, classy versus tacky. Dress super nice and classy or tacky. Friday, pirates versus wolverines. Wear purple and gold and show school spirits to support the football team. Looks fun. It'll be awesome to see what crazy stuff people will be wearing. Same, do you plan on wearing anything special? I don't think that fits with any of the themes. Anyways, let's go see what Deck has been doing. Hi, my name is Caroline Sanders and I'm in charge of the Community Service Project for DECA this year. This year we're hosting a charity 5K at Wendell Parks to raise money for the Harbor Shelter in Johnson County. Johnson County has one of the highest rates of domestic violence in North Carolina, so this is a really big deal to raise money for the shelter. The 5K is going to be on October 27th with registration starting at 8 o'clock. To participate, it costs $35, but if you are a DECA member, we take $10 off that cost, so it's only going to cost $25. But we are also looking for volunteers, and if you just want to donate to the shelter, we are more than happy to take any donations for the Harbor Shelter. Hey guys, my name is Kelsey Arnold, and I'm the Vice President of Key Club. I'm Sierra Darden, the president of Key Club. And Key Club will be hosting a fundraiser called Trick or Treat for UNICEF, which raises funds in prevention of maternal and neonatal tetanus. In many parts of the world, people cannot receive proper health care and vaccinations. And because of that, pregnant women who contract tetanus, um, their babies automatically receive it as well. And because they cannot have proper health care and vaccinations, it can result in death. And we are trying to raise as much money as possible to help prevent this from happening. Members will be receiving bright orange boxes at this week's meeting, October 11th on Thursday. They will be collecting individual donations towards this cause. Starting October 22nd through November 5th, they will be asking members in their classroom to donate as well. So make sure you donate to this cause in order to be one step closer to ending this problem. Thank you. Man, it always makes me happy to see the community helping each other out. Me too. I can't wait to see how the run goes. So before this episode ends, let's have a quick recap to show the senior trip. The senior trip? That must be so why so many people weren't here that day. Yeah, and it seems like they had a lot of fun. Well then, let's go watch the recap. On Friday, September 28th, seniors went on their senior trip to Busch Gardens for the showing of Howl Low Scream. The roller coaster park was filled with people dressed as varying sorts of monsters getting their spook on. The seniors rode on big comfy buses and stopped at Golden Corral for a big lunch before getting to explore the entire park. My favorite part of the senior trip had to be spending time with my friends, going on all the rides, and also the haunted houses. That was the best part to me. Some of the rides I went on was the Griffin, Rebolton, and the Loch Ness Monster. 
Golden Corral was okay for the most part. I mean, it's a buffet, so you, you have a variety of things you can choose from. The costumes that they had there for Hollow Scream were amazing. I loved it so much. Um, my friends got scared. It wasn't really that scary to me, but I love the haunted houses too. The bus ride was good. You know, after we had finished, you know, going around Bush Gardens, everyone was exhausted, and it was great. I liked the bus ride like a lot. Uh, Hollow Scream was really cool. I liked all the like dead actors and stuff. It was really cool. I went on the Loch Ness Monster once and the Invader like five times, but not much more. I didn't really enjoy Golden Corral, but you know, that's just how it be. Makes me wish I was a senior. At least we have next year to look forward to. Well, that's the end of this week's episode, Pirates. Thanks for watching and see you next episode.